Hi, I'm David Smolin from the Conway Public Library. And this week is National Library Week, where we celebrate our libraries and all the great things they do. So uh, we'd love to see you at the library. So come on down. And uh, this year, Natalie Portman, the famous actress, is the national chair of National Library Week. And we have, and so for today, I'm gonna read Natalie Portman's fables. And I'm gonna be reading The Three Little Pigs. So um, here we go. Um, the Three Little Pigs. When Mommy Pig saw that her kids were all grown, she told them, it's time to move out on your own. So Norm and Melinda and Georgie said byes and left their dear mamas to build their own styes. Norm took his couch and got takeout to eat. He slouched on the sofa and put up his feet. He ate noodles and noodles until he was sick. And then his house rose from old dirty chopsticks. You smell worse than me in your house made of junk, said Stink Master General. Norm's new squa squatter, Skunk. Do you think that chopsticks will prove to be sturdy? I believe they won't make it past 7.30. Norm sat there surrounded by cartons and boxes, but oops, food attracts hungry wolves and sly foxes. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said Wolf as she ate out of Norm's garbage bin. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said Norm with his voice sounding terribly thin. But Wolf was not there to be scary or mean. She just came to say, even pigs should keep clean. Then before Norm could even begin, Wolf huffed and she puffed and she blew his house in. Yay! No. Norm left for his sister, Melinda's new digs. He hoped she had room for two couch-loving pigs. Melinda loved sodas and all types of sugars. She'd sip as she'd pick and then flick all her boogers. As she just sat there without even knowing, the pile of plastic kept growing and growing. Chimp was her nosy and noisy new neighbor. She said, Dear Melinda, you must learn to labor. A house built of straws. Why, your thinking is hazy. To have strong foundations, you cannot be lazy. But before she could answer, Wolf knocked at her door. Melinda was shaking. Her head was a roar. Little pig, little pig. Let me come in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Wolf had no pity, she wore a, br a big grin. She huffed and she puffed and she blew her house in. Now Norm and Melinda walked hoof after hoof to ask to sleep under their third sibling's roof or roof. Young Georgie was never a pig to sit still and preferred to perfect pioneering pig skills. Georgie used clay to frame windows and doors and stone for the walls and bamboo for the floors. Even though Georgie would make perfect bacon, Wolf was impressed by the house they were making. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I just want to tell you I like how you build. You're thoughtful, hardworking, and wildly skilled. But Georgie had heard the two other pig stories and knew not to trust in Wolf's shower of glories. Let's meet at Chief's Orchard at quarter past eight. We'll pick some red apples. Make sure you're not late. But when Wolf arrived the next morning on time, Georgie was already home making pie. Oh, I got there at six. You can ask Mr. Rooster. Waking up early is an energy booster. 
Then let's go tomorrow to those new vines. We'll pick some tomatoes. You'll show your designs. But when Wolf arrived to pick the red fruit, George was already home making soup. Georgie said, Wolf, won't you get off of my lawn? I woke up and picked my tomatoes at dawn. Come down the chimney and join us to eat. We'll have some hot soup and then something sweet. Wolf scooted down into boiling hot water and screamed as the water got hotter and hotter. Ah! Wolf climbed out quickly. Now I must confess, I know there's one pig with whom I should not mess. Waking up early and working much harder makes a pig stronger and safer and smarter. Planning and thinking out how to build cleanly makes your house sturdy and keeps our earth looking greenly. The end.